I'm adding dog holes to this workbench and I can't draw a grid on here because it's a finished surface. So I'm gonna be using that scrap piece of plywood to make a quick jig. The first thing we have to do is rip this down to 12 inches wide. Now I'm gonna take this off cut and I'm gonna rip this down to an inch wide. This is gonna be an edge guide at the front of the jig. Now that I got the two pieces cut, I'm gonna to have to chop both of these down to 14 inches. Now that I got the two pieces cut, I'm gonna be mapping out a grid for the dog holes. Now there's gonna be four inch spacing around the outside, except for the front, that's gonna be five, because we have to account for this edge guide piece that's gonna be sitting below, and then that's gonna require an extra inch of spacing. But the dog holes, they're gonna be a two by three grid. They're all gonna be spaced apart by three inches. Next, I'll be attaching the edge guide here. This is gonna be attached to the underside just right at the front. I'm gonna be using glue and pin nails. Sorry about the blurry last shot. I don't know why my camera decided to do that, but as you can see here, so we got four inch spacing from the guide to all these holes and from each one of the edges. And then in between all the dog holes, they're spaced three inches. 